Jack Mustang, the most different than any other channel's channel. Proud supporter of Autism Speaks. Well, hello YouTube Universe, how's everybody doing today? Well, I got some great news for you guys today. To start off with, I recently got two job offers at this place called RMG in Stowe, Ohio. Now, to be honest, I am a little bit nervous about it. And of course, for me, as you may guys know or not know, change is hard for me. Now, here's the best part. The wage is $12 an hour. $12 an hour. I mean, who else would want that job? Now, the only major con I don't like about it is that I can't listen to my music because all of my music and of course my iPhone, my iPod, and probably my smartwatch aren't allowed, which that's the only con I didn't like about it. And of course all of that would go in the locker and to be honest, I would actually call it the prison for your all your electronics. And of course, I really hope these lockers aren't fire hazard mean the fact that they're fireproof so I wanted to worry about losing my data and crap and all that. But I guess I'll leave my iPod and my AirPods at home and I'll bring a regular watch and leave my smart watch at home. As for other news, for those you didn't see the video yet, we had a storm with lots and lots of lightning and this lightning bolt came out of nowhere as I was filming. And that day was my laundry day, so I did laundry real quick, and then we actually left in the afternoon, and we uh, drove all the way to Wayside, and the roads were wet. There were some areas where they were flooding. Nothing but heavy rain coming down. Now, Wayside Furniture pretty much is more of farm like furniture but you know my mom and dad were trying to look for a table because we wanted to downsize the size of the table that we have currently the table we have currently is um, from Costco uh, from a few years back pictures shown here are not the table that we just bought not one of the tables that we just bought while we were there, everybody was looking out the door that we were just by in the basement area. And let me tell you, it was down pouring out. And there were a couple times where I kind of heard thunder. And let me tell you, it was pretty insulated. You couldn't even hear the loudness of the thunder. It was pretty, pretty great. Of course, looking at the snapshots of the radar, you can tell we had lots and lots of rain yesterday, which was September 7th, 2020. And the current recording I am making is now September 8th, 2020. Now here are the snapshots earlier before the snapshots I showed you before these snapshots. These are actually when we had a lot of storms come through. And let me tell you, um, it was pretty, they were pretty intense storms. The storms brought flood advisories. Just look at what happened to Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. It almost looks like a river rather than a road. As for my girlfriend's hometown, Chagrin Falls, Ohio. The falls itself looked like it was like sounding like Niagara Falls. It was roaring like Niagara Falls. And it was very humongous with all the rain that made the falls look bigger than when it looked. Usually, the falls is a lot calmer than this. But with all the rain it had, it almost looked like a tsunami just hitting the river. It was crazy. I've never seen video like this before. However, on our way back, it was the same exact thing. Of course, as we got on 271, we actually passed the rain area. You can literally see where we were at from the view of this bridge. Now then, so I went to the recycling center, and I was really overwhelmed what I just saw. Keep in mind, I couldn't take pictures over there, so these are only the stock photos. 
So I was real overwhelmed because um, there seemed to be a lot more work and the people were just rushing and rushing and rushing. And, you know, people were banging stuff. And, you know, it was pretty crazy because there was absolutely, it seems, it seems like people were working faster than my pace. Unfortunately, the pace um, for me is basically a little bit slower than what they were doing. Now, they do have a place where you can recycle batteries. It didn't seem as overwhelming as that but to be honest it was more over it was also overwhelming because they had posters everywhere to see which batteries go which which batteries go which and which and to be honest um i just uh i don't know it's just an overwhelming situation now i may seem like a nice guy but I can tell by my personality that I have different feelings. And let me tell you, I could probably rate my personality to Spongebob characters from Spongebob. Here are my personality ratings. Starting off with 12% Pearl, 17% Mrs. Puff, 50% Squidward, 5% Patrick Star, in the middle, 60% Spongebob Squarepants, 71% Sandy Cheeks, 3% Mr. Krabs, aka Eugene, 0% Plankton, 90% Karen, and 6% Gary. Mostly, I feel like Squidward reminds me of me sometimes. Of course, this past week marks the 19th year since the 9-11-2001 attack on the World Trade Center, the White House, and of course a farm in Pennsylvania. And this is a moment where this, my friend, is probably the most horrible moment in America's history. Now if anybody has a birthday on September 11th, make their day real nice and don't think of negative thoughts and make their birthday real nice. And please, don't make stuff bad about the news. In other news, I did not take that job offer. As for my date, I was real excited that day when I first woke up. Of course, unfortunately, things got out of hand. I was standing outside the door of the restaurant waiting for her. Five o'clock passed, and then ten minutes passed. I called her two times. One time, I actually left a voicemail. The second time, she answered. Unfortunately, she was at her house. The date ended up being a disaster, so we are going to reschedule for Tuesday. And I gotta admit, I'm glad my dad was there, at least, to cheer me up. Earlier that day, it was the Browns' first game of the season. They played terrible. And I mean terrible. And I was mad as hell that the fact that they gave up so many defense and, of course, offense runs. One thing, though, what is going on for kicker? Like, seriously, he played terrible. He missed so many freaking field goals. I mean, how many coaches did we fire? We've fired so many coaches that the fact that we already picked the worst one. Every coach we had was worse. I'm actually mad that they have the coach and the field goal kicker. What kind of field goal kicker do we have? He absolutely is going to cost this team so much money. To be honest, I'm glad I am out of that Baker Mayfield uniform. I mean, I've got to tell you, I can't believe he was so good during a rookie season. He had a really great run during his rookie season. And of course, two years later, he's not doing as good as we thought. Well, I guess we're out of time now. Um, unfortunately, I am not a big fan of the fact that the Browns are playing. I'd rather watch an Ohio State game than the Browns now. Because to be honest, Ohio State is a better team than the stupid Browns. 
Not to mention, except the end of last year. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and please, mask up, America. With